One of the problems of being privileged is that you do not know how privileged you are until someone points that out to you. Africa. Hello wonderful peoples, welcome to a new video. So today I'm in a new location. In today's video, I'm going to talk about privileges and to be specific about my privileges. Because I think we all have some kind of privileges and before we start judging others, it is best to first look at ourselves first. So, I'm going first. Today I'm going to do my best to list the privileges that I have enjoyed in my life so far and hopefully create some awareness to other people who are like me and help contribute to a better world somehow. A disclaimer though, I'm not here to brag or to boast by telling you all these things. I'm just here to create awareness about these privileges that we all have. Even, even you who are watching, you also have some kind of privileges. And I think it is good to have this awareness to help uh, communicate with others and help others who are, not, who are less privileged to uh, better themselves and better this world. All right, let's get started. Privilege number one is that I was gifted with a normal sized body, as in height and also in weight. My height is right around 5 foot 10, which is 1 meter 79, and that is around the average for males around the world. Having this average height has given me some kind of advantage when it comes, for example, like dating, because all the girls that I've ever dated were usually my height or shorter. And I did not know that for most girls, height is such a turn off. So therefore, I did not have these issues and it made my life much easier. And also when it comes to shopping, usually uh, medium or large, they are always available and they always fit me nicely. Oh, and the second part, the weight. Um, I've always been kind of like standard weight, a bit on the plus side, but for guys, they, it is usually okay to be like that. I know some other males have to eat a freaking lot just to have a weight like I have at, the, at this height. And some others have uh, what we call uh, big bones, eh? and they are big by nature and they usually have to die down severely to, to achieve this normal sized weight what society has put on us. But for me, it has always been like this. I can gain a bit more, I can lose a bit more, but I've never really been to the extreme, which has helped me in my life a lot, of course. Privilege number two is I would say I was born healthy, you know, physically and mentally. I did not have any severe illnesses or handicaps or limbs that were missing. And this has helped me in my life as to have a normal life without a lot of issues. And I was able to participate in all sports and everything that was my path. Privilege number three, I would say it is Christianity. I was born into a Christian family and being a Christian, usually you are free to practice your faith everywhere uh, without a lot of harassment. I know for many other religions, this is not the case. For example, if 9-11 was done by a Christian who did it in the name of God, he or she would probably not be deemed as a terrorist. And this is not fair. Privilege number three is safety. To be honest, I, did, I was not aware of this. Uh, I just heard about it when I was researching this topic. And it, but it is true. Uh, everywhere I go in the world, usually I kind of feel safe. I have never really, I don't, I don't avoid alleys or uh, certain streets or whatever and even when I'm in dangerous neighborhood I, there's a way I just feel like the way I carry myself that people will not attack me and luckily I've never been attacked never been robbed and I always feel kind of you know safe and funny thing though you know sometimes when you're walking in the streets and someone is, is walking behind you it feels kind of creepy and for me too but every time when I look behind me and I see it is, uh, it is like a white lady, for example, I always think like, wait a second, this lady is probably afraid of me, so I should not be afraid of her. I don't know why, but that helps me to continue my life without being afraid. So, but this is of course a privilege because I know not everyone can walk safely in the streets. The fourth privilege I would say is this, having a passport. Believe it or not, not everyone is documented, not everyone has a passport and I happen to have a passport uh, from a European country which allows me to travel around the world giving me access to many magnificent places in, in the entire world. This is not the case for most people or they cannot get such a document so they are not allowed to move from their area. Um, it is unfair but it is a privilege for those who have it. Uh, the fifth privilege I would say it is heterosexuality. 
And the fact that I can boast about my girlfriend on the internet or I can walk hand in hand in the streets with her without anyone harassing us, it is a privilege. Because I was born straight, I did not do anything for it. So therefore I believe that people who are gay are also born gay. They cannot do anything about it. They do not choose to be gay. And if you're like that and you, you love someone and you are not allowed to, to kiss the person, you're not allowed to be with the person, uh, even some countries they even give you like a death penalty I feel that is that's very much unfair and so for you people out there who are straight know that it is a privilege I see it as a privilege to be able to be with the one I love uh, without the world uh, harassing us you know making it difficult for us the sixth privilege I would say is having access to the Western world so this includes having clean water just by turning on the faucet having access to higher education, having access to money and loans. If you have traveled a bit, you will notice that a large part of the world does not have this luxury. They are far and far from it. I'm aware of this luxury and I'm aware of this, and I'm aware of this privilege and I thank God to have it, but I wish that everybody could have it as well. And the last privilege I would say, and this one is probably the biggest one, it is male privileges. This is also something that I also myself found out just a couple of years ago, believe it or not. But this is the issue usually with privileges. You do not know how privileged you are uh, until someone else tells you or you lose it. Throughout history, women have been treated as some kind of sidekicks to men instead of equal partners. And this is of course unfair. This has, this has helped men perpetuate to higher levels in societies. That's why they are getting more paid, they are having the higher positions. And if you just look at the world leaders, most of them are male. You see, even the Bible says that Eve was, came out of Adam's rib, but science suggests that it's probably Adam who came out of Eve. And being a male also, people assume that you can also be a good leader. Uh, you get also this title of head of the family. You really don't need to do much about it, you just have to grow up and have a family and you are the head of the family you also get the title of strong and being emotionally stable which is not the case uh, for most guys and it is usually unfair to the females who are strong and uh, in these leader capabilities but just because of their gender uh, people look down on them and lastly i feel that when it comes to for example cheating men are treated different uh, than women and is totally unfair because usually when guys cheat they cheat with also a woman and when a woman cheats she cheats also with a guy but the women are usually punished much more severely by society but also by other women's um, which is also unfair and i hope by raising this kind of awareness people can be aware of the privileged states that they have and also help treat other people who are less privileged a bit better that was the video for today if I miss something, let me know in the comment section below. One of the problems of being privileged is that you do not know how privileged you are until someone points that out to you. But thank you for watching this far. Uh, let me know if you have some kind of suggestion for another topic because I don't know any other topic. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. And don't forget to check out my crowdfunding campaign. It's going to be ending in about seven days. Please go contribute. Check the first link in the description of this video or click right here. And I'll see you in the next video. And subscribe also right here. Namuchi.